Hi, my name is Naomi and I'm the creator of Two and or Four who makes handmade products for your two-legged loved ones and your four-legged loved ones. Um, this is part two of, uh, I don't know if it's going to be, it's probably going to be a four-part series um, on making this pattern of biking shorts. Now, I'm not using them as biking shorts. I'm using them to go underneath my skirts and my dresses. Um, so, in, in this coming video, what I need to do is I'm short-waisted, um, so I need to shorten the rise. Otherwise, the waist is up at my ribs instead of at my waist. Um, so that's what we're going to work on is adjusting the pattern. This one is a quick, easy adjustment, and I hope you enjoy. Um, thank you so much. All right. We are working on this pattern. So what I really want to do is... Um, I'm very short from here to here, so I'm going to shorten the waist on the pattern piece. Um, and basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it from here conveniently. And then I will draw a line. I'm going to shorten it an inch and re tape it together. I'm going to change the angle of the camera. All right, so I've cut off my head so you can see the pattern piece. So I'm going to take it apart at this connection. Um, Okay, so all I'm going to do is right at this line, I'm going to use that line, I'm going to draw another line one inch down from that line. Okay, then I'm going to take my piece back and I am going to put it on the line I just drew and obviously it's going to be off. So I'm just going to kind of try to split the difference. There, a little more. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this triangle down. So that will give me something to match up to. So, right there. There we go. Now 
Now, obviously, my lines are now going to be off. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get some paper and put it behind and just kind of redraw Well, actually, in this particular, yeah, I'm going to redraw the lines. Let me so what I'm going to do is take some scrap paper and I'm going to put it behind. Put this one on this side. I'll just put a piece of tape to temporarily hold it down. All right, so what I'm going to kind of do is where it's no longer meeting up, what I'm going to do is kind of fill in the line. I mean, I could personally do this on the fabric itself, but um, I'll just do it this way. And I'll do the same on the other side. Let me see if I can just fill this in a little so you see how little there really was. So where I have filled in is really how I had to change it. So very little. I could have done it on just directly on my fabric, but um, I wanted to show you how to do that. Just take my scissor now and I'll just cut out the line. I'll cut off a piece of it on the back. I don't need so much. Okay, and then I'm going to tape this down. piece here in the front. Do the same on the other side. So all I did was fill in the little hole that it created when I moved the pattern. And that's it. My pattern piece is now shortened. All right, so I found that it was too hard to see what I had done, and um, I should have used colored paper, but then I realized <clears throat> I didn't have any, so I just printed a rectangle on my printer, 
and I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to change the angle so that you can see what it is that I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to cut the blue paper. Um, honestly, don't need all this paper. So I'm going to cut two strips off. And so I'm going to put them on either side. And what I'm joining is this spot here where it sticks out to this point here. I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a line from there to there. Um, but I'll put a little bit of tape down just to hold the piece And then, so I'm going to put my ruler right at this point, and then I'm going to match up to this point. So I'm going to put it there and at the top edge. So all I'm going to do is draw a line from here to here so that I'm filling in. This is the tiny portion that I'm filling in. All right, and then I'm gonna put tape down. I'm draw that line with a Sharpie so that you can see it. Let's see. So there's the line and that's all I have and on the other side it is pretty much the same amount. So I hope I'm going to cut that out now so you can see. So that that blue amount is all that I needed to fill in. I personally could have just done it on the fabric, eyeing it, but um, I just wanted to show you how to do it. So that was how you would shorten a rise on a pair of shorts or a pair of pants um, in knits. We didn't have to worry about zippers or anything else. Um, it was an easy fix because the pattern pieces themselves lent themselves to being split right where I needed it. Um, and in the next video, we're actually going to cut out the pattern um, and that too is easy because this is a one piece pattern. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate your subscribing. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you.